Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this new tutorial, we're gonna create a real time clock. As you can see, we have the date and the time displayed on this LCD display. Basically, we're gonna use this module that is called RTC or real time clock. I'm using the DS1302 module, but you could use other versions. We're gonna use a library that supports more than one version of this RTC module. So before we get started, consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon, that helps me a lot. And let's jump right into it. So in this new tutorial, you will need the Arduino Uno, the LCD display, and the RTC module. So this is called the S1302 RTC module, which we're gonna use to get the date and the time. Then we're gonna display it on this LCD display. First, let's see how to hook it up to the Arduino. As you can see, it consists of five pins. We have the VCC, which goes to the five volt pin of the Arduino. Or in this video, we're gonna use the 3.3 volts and we're gonna use the five volt pin to power the LCD display. Then we have the GND, which goes to the GND of the Arduino. After that, we have three more pins, the CLK or clock, the data pin, and the reset pin or RST. We're gonna hook up these to the digital pins, number six, seven, and eight. Of course, you could use any of the digital pins. In this video, we're gonna connect the CLK to the digital pin number six. The data goes to the digital pin number seven. And finally, the RST goes to digital pin number 8. I'm gonna take the red wire and connect the VCC of the module to the 3.3 volts. We're gonna use the 5 volts to power the LCD display. Then we have the GND. Goes to the GND of the Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect the CLK to the digital pin number 6 the data goes to the digital pin number 7 and finally we have the RST I'm gonna hook it up to the digital pin number 8 also we're gonna need this LCD display I've talked about it in our previous videos make sure to check it out you could follow this image we're gonna connect the GND to the GND the VCC to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino then we have the SDA and the SCL. The SDA needs to be connected to the analog pin A4 and the SCL goes to the analog pin A5. You could also use these two pins. So this is the SDA and this is the SCL. As you can see, we have our four wires. I'm gonna connect the brown wire to the GND. The red wire is the VCC which goes to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Then we have the yellow wire, is the SEL, which goes to the analog pin A5. And the SDA goes to the analog pin A4. Now let's plug the USB cable so that we can upload the code. First, you will need to install two libraries. You could go to tools, then manage libraries, the first one is liquid crystal underscore I2C. Basically, you need to go all the way down and search for the same name, liquid crystal I2C. And it is this library by Marco Schwartz. I've already installed it. And we have another library to deal with the RTC module. Just search for RTC, then DS1302. And it is the second one, RTC by Makuna. And as you can see, it supports more than one version of the RTC module, like the DS1302, DS1307, and so on. You could also use other boards, like the ESP8266. Anyway, once you install this library, let's explain the code that will display the date and the time. First, I've included these libraries 
like the liquid crystal underscore I2C. Then we have three wire dot H and the RTC DS1302.h. So this comes with the second library by Makuna. Then we've created two objects. The first one is the LCD display with these three parameters. This is the address of the I2C module. Then we have the number of columns and the number of rows. I've talked about the LCD display in one of my previous videos. Go ahead and check it out. Then you need to add two more objects. The first one is three wire. The name is my wire. You could call it whatever you want. Then we have to pass in three numbers. And these are the data, the clock, and the RST pins. So make sure to put these in this order. Then we've created the RTC object. So the type is RTC DS1302. And it takes the three wire object. Then I've called it RTC. And this takes the wires, which is this object, my wire. Then under the setup function, we've used these lines of code to initialize the LCD display. Then we've added RTC.begin. After that, I've created this RTC date time object. So whenever you start using this module, you need to fix the date and the time. Then this module uses this battery to keep track of the date and the time. Anyway, you will use these lines of code once. Then you could get rid of them. Basically, we are getting the current time using the RTC date time object. This takes the date and the time. So these are built-in variables that you could use to get the date and the time from this computer. After that, we can set it using RTC dot set date time. And this method takes the object current time and it will fix it. So let's upload the code. But before that, make sure that you have this battery plugged in. Then we can get rid of these lines of code. Or let's comment this. And under the loop function, we can get the current time by creating this RTC daytime object. I gave it a name now equals RTC dot get daytime. So this method returns the date and the time as an RTC daytime object. Then I've used the methods now dot day to get the day now dot month to get the month and so on first we need to clear the lcd display and set the cursor at the first column and the first row after that we can print the date using the date message then we add the day and the slash then the month and the year after that i've changed the position of the cursor to the second line using set cursor 0, 1. So 1 is the index of the second row. Then I've printed the time and added the values now.hour to get the current hour, now.minute, and finally now.second. And these are separated using this colon. And finally, I've added a little bit of delay. And that's pretty much it. So you will find this code under the description of the video. Let's upload it again without these lines of code. And there you go, we have a real time clock. As you can see, we have the date on top and the time at the bottom. And if we unplug the USB cable, this module will save the date and the time. And whenever the power goes back, you see it's correct. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. In the next video, we are going to improve this project a bit. Basically, we're going to add this keypad. I've talked about the keypad in one of my previous videos. Make sure to check it out. We're going to hook it up to the Arduino. Then we'll be able to fix the date and the time using these buttons. So try to think about it. And I will see you in the next one.